couple sample problems for you just to really wrap your brain around that big old pre-lesson. That was a long one, but there's a lot of information there. It's all good. So this is your most basic type of problem. They give you the triangle. They say, hey, find all six of these uh, trig functions. If they want to make it a little difficult, they'll leave one of these sides out. And then you go, okay, I gotta go a squared plus b squared plus c squared, or you just go, no, that's a family, 5, 12, 13, much better than other families. And you gotta know so ha hola. You just gotta know it. So, what is sign? Um, oh, I forgot to put the uh, it's right up here. If I don't know where the reference angle is, you can't do these problems. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, this is my opposite side. This is my hypotenuse. Therefore, this must be my adjacent. Really good idea to label those sides right away. So I know my opposite is 5. My hypotenuse is 13. You can go ahead and steal the reciprocal for the other one. Cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be 12 over 13, flip it for the other one. Tangent, opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent, flip it for the other one. Gotta love those. Now, this problem's very similar, but different. You see, you visual folk love the fact there's a triangle. Take that as a hint. Build your triangle. How? Look at the information. If sine is 24 over 25, remember it's so, so the 24 must be my opposite, that must be my hypotenuse. So if I actually drew a drawing with a little bit of accuracy, I'd say this better be my reference angle, so that'd be 24 and that's 25. There's my 90. It's like, okay, I think I remember this family. Blank 24, 25, that'd be a 7. Now I've got all three of my sides. I can find anything. Now this is uh, the definite easy part. If sine is 24 over 25, and you know cosecant's the reciprocal of that, that's 25 over 24. John, cosine, that is adjacent over hypotenuse. This is my reference angle. So there's my opposite, there's my adjacent, because this is my hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent, 7, over my hypotenuse, 25. And now I flip that. Voila! Tangent. Tangent by definition is opposite over adjacent. That's my reference angle. So opposite is 24, adjacent is 7. Cotangent. That's just a flip of that. So 7 over 24. There they are. One more problem for your sample problems. Last one. This is a fun little problem. Look at uh, example 3 from page 395 in your text. You've got this whole situation. I'll just summarize it. You've got a fire truck with a big old um, emergency ladder here extended. It's 84 foot long. Um, ladder and the question is asking let's make sure I don't screw this up if this angle is at the current angle 55 degrees right here will this ladder this 84 feet be long enough to actually touch the building to rescue this person that's right up here and this is interesting because the, it also tells you that the height of the fire engine is 8 feet tall. Now notice this right here, from where the ladder's touching, where the ladder needs to be, from the ground is 75 feet. So that's a mysterious question. So what we need to do is kind of think backwards. If we can figure out what this is, X, and I want you to look at this triangle, the red triangle, we go, ah, that's 55 degrees. This is my opposite side, and this is my hypotenuse. And I think, boy, it'd be nice if I could find that and then add it to 8. And if this plus this is greater than 75, then yes, 
you've got enough ladder at that angle. So let's concentrate on that red triangle. Here's my angle. This is my opposite side. This is my hypotenuse. And so in the world of trig, we've got so, ha, hoa. We have to make a big decision. Which trig function is going to be our helper? Well, in this case, it's going to be sine because we're using opposite and hypotenuse. You see that? So I'm going to use this and say, ah, sine of my reference angle, in this case, it's 55 degrees, equals my opposite over my hypotenuse. Keep your calculator handy, you guys. So sine of 55 degrees is 0 0.809. And here's the math problem, just about done. You got to get rid of that 84 by multiplying. Get rid of that 84, so here we go, times 84, 68.8, so x is 68.8, don't forget that that's only x, that's from here to here, we get to add 8 feet because that's the height of the actual fire truck, so if we added 8 feet to that, we'd get 76.8, not degrees, feet, and yes, from here to here is more than 75, so we're like, cool, yep, that person's going to be saved, so here we go, uh, yeah, good luck on your homework, you guys.